The 15th flanker to Armani Code. Is Armani Code absolute any good? Keep right there and I'll let you know. What's up everyone, I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it. The new Armani Code Absolute came out this year. The original came out in 2004. There have been 15 flankers. This is the 16th version of Armani's Code, which I guess is very popular. I own the original, but it was a long time ago. I honestly don't remember it. And I really did enjoy the Profumo version from 2016, that was a good one for me. But those are the only ones that I've tried from the Giorgio Armani Code series. So this is available in two sizes, it's a 2 ounce and a 3.7 ounce, 110 ml. That's what I have here. But I got it on sale, there was a little promotion going on at Macy's, so I got, I think 30% off. I got this box set, which came with a 15 ml travel spray which i will give away at the end of this video so stick around to the end so you can have a chance to maybe win that travel atomizer the retail price for the two ounce bottle is 90 dollars, and the retail price for the 3.7 ounce bottle is 110 bucks here is the box that it comes in nothing fancy just the uh, armani code absolute there The bottle is the same as the whole Code series, except they change up the colors for different versions. I love the Profumo colors, the brown tones, and this is a, got a black plastic cap, a little bit of black here that has some kind of textured something, and then it's a matte gold finish, then it's clear on the bottom. There's your spray, one, two. Oh! I usually have a problem with the code caps. If you watched my Profu Code Profumo video, I stumbled getting the cap back on, and I usually do stumble with... <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Code Absolute is classified as an Oriental Spicy. It's an Eau de Parfum concentration. The notes, according to Fragrantica, are this big, but according to the Giorgio Armani site, it only has Rum Accord, Tonka, and Vanilla. And pretty much that's what I get from this fragrance. When you first spray this on, it's very sweet. It's a boozy sweet kind of bright thing going on. Maybe setting you up to think that it's gonna be one of these uber sweet, like everything on the men's market these days, too sweet like the um, Aqua de Joe Absolute. No. It stays like that only for about 20 minutes, then it settles down to a pretty simple, it's tanka, a little bit of vanilla, and it's wrapped with a suede accord or a soft leather accord, and that's pretty much what you get. There's nothing overly sweet here. What I like about this one, as much as I love the Profumo, that was really, really sweet, and to be perfectly transparent, I've since moved that bottle because there was something that came up in the groups that I couldn't pass up on the price, and uh, I wasn't wearing the Profumo as much as I thought I would, so I traded it. This one right here is actually 
a little better than the Profumo. It's not quite as sweet and um, syrupy. This has a nice presence about it, but it's not a punch to the face or too synthetic. It's really polished and very nice to wear. I was noticed at work. It's not like, boom. It's just one of those that leaves a nice trail. I can smell myself. I gave myself, I think it was five sprays. One, two, three, four, five, and then one inside. So that's really seven. One, two, three, four, five, and then collar, collar. And that lasted me for pretty much the whole day at work. I didn't get, oh my God, Carlos, you smell great. That didn't happen. But some people said that it smelled nice. It was pleasant, but I didn't get that. Oh my God, what are you wearing? But I enjoyed it. And I think it's actually a pretty decent release. Don't be scared of that first opening blast. That's kind of sweet when you spray this on skin. It goes away after 20 minutes. There's a subtle sweetness that stays throughout the rest of the fragrance on your skin, but it's not cloying or syrupy or anything like that. I've seen a few people say that this is probably one of the best from the Code series. I can't vouch for that because I haven't tried all of them, but I can definitely say that this is a good one and I do enjoy it and I do recommend it for you. I would love to help you try this one if you're not anywhere Macy's, you know, Sometimes it's not always easy to get to these uh, department stores. I have the 15 mil official Giorgio Armani code absolute travel spray for one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you next time. Hello, I'm Carlos, and thanks so much for tuning back into BFL and the uh, No. I think that if you kind of like the Profumo version, but it was too sweet for you, then this is definitely worth checking out. It's a little pricey at the current... I think that if you kind of sort of like the Profumo version, then you should probably... Oh, shit! Damn it. Bluebirds. I think that if you kind of sort of like the Profumo version, but it was just a little too sweet for your taste, then this one's definitely worth checking out. You get kind of the vibe of the Profumo, but it's not as sweet. And actually, it's just, it's a little more, I don't wanna say mature, cause it's not an old man smelling fragrance. It just smells like a well put together man, in my opinion, and definitely worth checking out. I really have enjoyed wearing this for the last few days and it's definitely one to check out at the, at, it's definitely one to check out at the very least if you don't buy it or not, but you know, at least uh, yeah. <laughs> It's just a little annoying to me that I feel like I have to justify that I like this because a lot of people, you know, won't like it. I think it's really, really good. And I think that I think I have good taste, I would say. I've, a lot of people have told me that they've gone out and bought stuff or tried stuff that I've recommended and have been happy with it. So, listen, if you don't like designer fragrances, then this is not for you. But if you do like designer fragrances, then I think it's worth checking out. And I would love, as always, to help you do that. I'm gonna give away that 15 mil that I thought was right here. Shut up!